So this is the yard that we had made for Sunny. It's where Ella sunbeads. That is the footpath that was under dispute by that horrible neighbour of mine. We've blocked it off with an old fence panel now so that the cats can't come in. Um, there's two fence panels there because we've got so many baby birds in the garden. So we had these steps made, I don't know, when we bought the second house. So here, here is where I'm trying to make a raised bed. That shed is in good nick, the other one has fallen down. Um, that's going to be my raised bed, I'm going to finish that today. I've got plenty of wood. I had to take up all those stones because I put those down to make a big sort of patio area and I've had to cut back this um, lovely honeysuckle. It flowers twice a year, that honeysuckle. And that's my lovely cherry tree. It's just beautiful, really beautiful. There's the window out that Rob says he can fix. Um, Here's Sunny following me. Hello Sunny. Um, she can come in the garden now because we secured it the day before yesterday. So there's a lot of rubbish through here unfortunately because there's a lot of leftover stuff from ducks and chickens and fences and gates and bags of gravel and stuff that's all going to get used. Um, here's where I was trying to put up a fence but I did it. Ella and I did that. That was a piece of fencing we already had um, and I've blocked the, the old gateway off with a big tall iron gate that was on the pathway. So that's across the road, you see. That's the outside toilet that my next door neighbour thought he had access to. Silly old fart. And there's across the road. There's my Leylandi, which I've got a nest in. And my neighbour cuts that, which is brilliant at the top but there's a blackbird's nest in there. Um, round here is all overgrown at the moment. Um, in there, unfortunately, is that little miniature caravan uh, that I bought, which has got, we've got to excavate that, but at the moment I can't because there's, I think, Finch's nest in that box tree. Um, this is a fabulous apple. Get loads and loads of apples off this, and it's full of blossom, really full of blossom. Okay, so going back up Sunny's having a good wander. So we go up here. This is a huge garden. It always was too big for me, really, but I didn't realise at the time. Um, that's a viburnum over there. It's just finished flowering, and a, I've got to cut. Can't quite see, but at the back there, that is a budlia that's got way out of control. And that's a, an evergreen that I planted that's massive now. And there's the old summer house, which is a bit strangled at the moment by honeysuckle. This honeysuckle has completely taken over. It's an evergreen and it's just, it went into everything. It went into the pear tree. It's in this cherry tree and it's, you know, it's gone up. Um, and there's actually one growing up. See, my cherry tree is very old. It's got a really thick trunk, but there is actually um, an evergreen honeysuckle growing up there too. I'm going to leave that one because it makes a kind of canopy at the top and that canopy is there all winter which is great for the birds. And um, so up here is another shed which has fallen down. Look at this. Ella and I are trying to get, get make some impression on that. Um, hate doing it because it's the wrong time of year. It's all shooting and everything. And there's a pile that we've already cut off. This is the back of the garden. That's the British Legion Club. So this is my pear tree that I planted, which has been pretty much overshadowed by this honeysuckle, but I've cut it all back. So the honeysuckle's getting, I mean, the pear's getting more light. And it's also got some nasty thing going on the branch. I don't know what that is. Um, and then I noticed yesterday, I can't quite see it, I don't think. There is actually blossom somewhere. There is anywhere, I can't see it now, but there is blossom. So that's where my neighbour cuts my holly tree and chucks it over the fence. Which I suppose he's allowed to do. And this is my magnificent holly. 
The birds love it. They eat all the berries every winter. It's very old. You can tell it's got a big thick trunk. There's a lot of bees around here. They're on the um, they're on the flowers, the holly flowers that are just coming out. Um, so this is a little apple tree that I discovered. I'd forgotten it was here. It's not going to do anything, I don't think, but it was completely overshadowed by the honeysuckle. So I've kind of rescued that. I don't know if it'll do anything. That's not blossom. That's off the um, cherry tree. So then we can go back down this way. It's sunny. She's spotted a baby bird or something. Loads and loads of wood. Masses of wood. I'm going to give loads of it away because... I might burn some, but I might not. So, come on, Sunny. Oh, I've got to climb over that. So that's where the fence panel was. See, there's a fence panel here. When the Polish people were here, we divided the garden. But now I've taken that piece out, and that's the piece I, you saw where I put that. Um, I've just got to climb over this bin. Try and hold the camera still and not fall over. Right, so back down now to where... I'm making the raised bed. I'm going to put flowers in that toilet or plants, probably squash plants. And I've got a fabulous dessert apple here, which is, always has loads of fruit. And it's next to a viburnum, which is really pretty. Um, and I had a good go at this rose, which was way up in the sky. This I meant to cut down in the winter, but I forgot. And that's a wild plum. And this year it had, it always has loads of blossom, but it never has much fruit. But this year I think it's going to have a lot of fruit because I didn't notice the birds picking at it. There's my bird feeder. I watch them out the window, it's brilliant. They're not very keen on the peanuts. But I've got a couple of little coal tits, I think they are, that come for the peanuts. Right, that's the garden. The sun is still there. Um, that shed's full of wood and some of my books. There's the barn. Can't get in there at the moment. That's bicycles in the doorway. But we're going to get my neighbour Rob to do up a couple of bikes and get rid of the other two. And look, there's another evergreen honeysuckle. It's grown itself all over our... what will be the back door of the two cottages. So, uh, that's a tour.